to harp on this, but I've actually been talking about this same thing for several days now. I used to do that. If I saw a woman that was in really great shape, I'd be like, yeah, well, she's probably in the gym three hours a day and her kids never see her and yada, yada, yada. Like I used to do it too. And then I remember I heard someone else do it. And I remember thinking that's really distasteful. When we see something that makes us feel inadequate, we have to put it down. And I decided right then and there, like that's not the type of woman that I want to be. I think the only time that we're not celebratory of someone else's sacrifice and hard work is if it for some reason triggers some insecurity or inadequacy in us. If I see a woman that taught herself how to knit, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, were you spending like four or five hours a day? Who was watching your kids? The things that come out of women's mouth when it comes to physical fitness would never translate into any other hobby <laughs> or skill. There were sacrifices that were made. Remember, this was like a progression, right? I didn't do then what I do now. I got there organically over the last decade. When physical fitness did become a priority, I didn't wear makeup probably six days out of the week. <laughs> Showering, a lot of times, I know it's so gross. I spent just a lot of years looking like trash, greasy trash ball. I remember one of the times when Kaden was like really, really little and I actually put on makeup. I don't think I had worn makeup for six months, but I come out of the room and Russ is holding Kaden and he's like, this is your mommy. Cause I looked so different and I like burst into tears and Russ felt so bad. He was like, I'm just kidding. You just don't wear makeup anymore. And I'm like, I know. I get where she's coming from. A, she's a grown woman and she should know better. But me calling it out is just because I think we should do that. I don't think that this should be okay common practice. You demeaning my hard work also doesn't move the needle for you. If I did spend four hours in the gym every day or three hours in the gym every day, that still leaves you right where you are, which I don't think you're happy with. Otherwise you wouldn't do that because I know women that don't make physical fitness their priority, but are perfectly happy with their choices and hugely confident. They're like, you go girl, that's for you. That's not for me. We can be cheerleaders of one another. That wasn't my path. Like that's not important to me, but I love that it is for you and you carved out that niche in your life. My decisions and my sacrifices and my priorities don't have to be anybody else's. When I see someone else that has made priorities and choices that are different than mine, I'm fully celebratory of those.